Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back. We're finally going to finish um, this picture in the Selena Fennec book, um, The Bauble Fairy. Uh, sorry it's been a while, it's just simply because I, I went out on Saturday with work and I was so shattered on Sunday and Monday that it's only now that I feel up to colour in. So I've got all my glitter gel pens, we're going to be doing the baubles and her top and this. I'm using the new pens I've got, which you'll see again in my haul um, that I got from eBay. They uh, eBay from Amazon. They're called Link Shine Sparkle Glitter. I really like them. There's only ten of them in in the packet, but they are they do go on really nice. But they do take a while to dry. So we're going to do the bottom part first. So let's bring that up. So yes, the the um, Christmas party was very good. I really enjoyed it. I had a nice time. I don't know if it's worth 62 quid. I mean, it's very expensive. Of course, we did get half of that back, so. It is very expensive, but it was also really, really nice to uh, to get out and have a drink and a dance. and So that's that. And then I found out on, uh, I think it was Sunday, yeah, Sunday, that Chris is home today which is Wednesday which is when you're seeing this so by the time you see this he might already be home which is great so from New Zealand so I am doing a weekly vlog when I actually remember to film it as I get very distracted and I do forget I, like, I forgot to film this morning which is Tuesday and, but I did film a bit when I got home and I saw my camera and thought oh yeah I forgot I forgot to film today because I'm a bit silly so that's that one um yeah I'll just use the gold for that for that bit Get all the others out. Put that back in there. I just wanted that gold. I've got so many glitter gel pens and so many gel pens, it's unreal. I've got a whole bag of gel pens somewhere. I just don't know where they are. So. so. Are we all ready for Christmas? I've pretty much got everything. I think it's just one or two items to get now and then I'm done. I've got to start wrapping stuff up soon. But uh, yeah. So tomorrow we'll be doing Secret Santa at work. And I always have a thing about Secret Santa. I don't really like it because <sighs> some people that are hard to buy for. It's hard to know what to get them. Um... And you always think, oh god, they're going to give me something I don't like, or I don't want, or I'm going to think great, or a stupid present. So we will see. I know you should be grateful for anything you get. It's nice to have a gift. I just, I don't know, I just think it's a silly concept of, of, of doing things at a secret Santa. So... We're doing it, so I get my gift tomorrow, I suppose. That's if I, we were supposed to do it Monday, but a lot of people forgot to take their presents in, even though it had been emailed out. I mean, one of them was my line manager, Sarah, but that's because she'd been on holiday. She'd been out of the country, so she wasn't to know. So that's that. So it's just knowing what colours to do these um, baubles. Mm, we've got lots of different colours. I do like blue and silver, I'm not going to lie. I've got a dark blue there. What colour is that? That's a blue. Oh, that's a nice blue. Let's try that one on here. So, we'll start on this side over here. Let me get that one here. And we'll start at the top. See, so, yeah, it'd be nice to finish this one. I've finished two pictures so far. I still haven't done any more on my Seasons picture or my one from the uh, what's it called? The um, 
the one I downloaded from the Crayola website. Now this is going to run out on me. It's not, there's plenty in there, so it just needs a bit of a warm. I will finish them at some point, I hope. Yeah, so I've got a similar, that, that blue is quite similar, so if necessary I could just go and use that. Yeah, this isn't, doesn't want to work. Okay, we'll go back to using that blue I was using before and we'll put that one in the bin. I'm trying to use up the old ones, um, but it is quite difficult with some of them because, you know, like, we'll just use this one instead. It's it's a little bit light, but it's not very, not very different, so that's fine. Um, yeah, so I will do some more on that one soon. I've been busy and, like I said, tired from thing. I just haven't been from the party. I just have not been in the mood to colour. I think just because I've been so tired, so happy to do it tonight and uh, wanted to do it tonight. So I'm really pleased that I'm uh, back on it. So. So I, I, I did finally get my car, um, which is wonderful news because, you know, I've had my dad's for so long, I think he's forgotten how to drive it. Oh, there's a bit of a, a leaf back there I haven't done. I'll have to get the polychrome of that in a minute and do that as well. Things you see, oh, there's so much stuff everywhere because there's, there's like Christmas presents absolutely everywhere. I need to sort my lot out, get them taken upstairs, I think. Yes, I've missed a bit of green down here, look. I'll just get that in now before we uh, carry on. Um, I definitely haven't hit, and I'm not going to hit, my... Um, total for the year book wise there's just no way <laughs> I'd need to read about three a day to get there now so I'll probably lower the there we are the amount I read next year I've got to be honest I, I love reading and I can still sit and read but it, it is very difficult to just sit and read when you've got a, a young child Obviously, she needs all my attention, so uh, yes, it's uh, not happened this year. As much as I, I'm in the middle of reading several books, but I just can't finish them, and I've got at least one on the go on Audible. It's one I've read before, but I do enjoy it. So yes, the car's absolutely lovely. Drives very nicely. It's a Citroen Zara Picasso. It is a diesel, which takes some getting used to because they are slightly different from petrol cars. I would have preferred a petrol car, but unfortunately, the guy didn't have any available. Uh, he even said if I didn't want it, he would have kept it himself because he's done it out so well. He's replaced practically everything. So everything you can replace except for the engine and the gearbox he's replaced apparently. So it's like a new car. It looks lovely. It's higher. It's a lot higher for me. So I'm sitting up a lot higher, which is nice. But it takes a bit getting used to because the handbrake so far down the gear stick or the shift uh, shift stick shift. If you're in America, is is very high. Um, but the handbrake isn't. So it's very very strange. Um, but it's also a lot higher in the back so putting Jennifer into her car seat is a lot easier because I found that um, bending down and picking her up and putting her in the car seat that she had it was just so painful on my back that now she's up higher I think it's going to be a lot easier for me which is great news because the uh, I don't, nobody likes a backache, let's be honest. So I'll do this one in silver and then we'll do that one red and then we'll do a pink one and a purple one over this side. I'm not really worried about the lines on there. 
so next uh, video we'll do one from Colour It, uh, Colour it Christmas, Colourful Christmas is it called? The Colour It book. Um, I don't know what I'm going to use, whether I'm going to use, I might use my Sharpies and my Touch Fives and the gel pens. I'm loving the gel pens. I'm probably going to go through a lot of glitter gel pens this Christmas because I've got some that are patterns and mandalas and I just like doing with the gel pens. The the gel pens I bought and I showed you earlier, they were from like £2 something. So I'll be getting them again. I know it's only 10 in a pack, but the reason I got it is the red in the pack I normally use isn't very red. It's not a really bright, it's not the red I want. It's more pinky orange, but it's not red. So I thought I'll order these, see what the red's like. It's not going to cost me a lot. If I like it, I'll just get them every time I need a red because I use red more than anything because red's my favourite colour. Not going to lie, red is my favourite colour indeed. There is another silver one somewhere. It must be in the drawer. So I will use the red that we have here now, which is this one. I do like these, so I will be buying these again. So here we go, here's the red. So it is a nice red. Get in there. See, look, it's a good deep red, which is what I wanted. The other ones weren't very deep. But this isn't a nice red colour. These do take a little while to dry. That's in you'll be careful that you don't... Oh, I've missed a bit of gold there. That you don't um, smudge them. But they do look nice. So Jennifer's fine. She's still saying everything belongs to her. She keeps going, mine. If you say, oh, that's mine. She goes, no, mine. <laughs> to everything. And shoes. She likes to say shoes. And her granddad bought her a pair of slippers today. So she kept going, shoes. Because she wanted her slippers on. <laughs> She's so cute. And she's... Uh, Enjoying nursery now. She's back again after us being ill. Oh. I love colouring with pens. I love colouring with pencils. I like. I do quite like it. I, I'm. I, I'm not that patient to completely layer and layer and layer and layer. I will for a bit. As you can see, I took ages doing her skin and I layered it loads. But generally, I don't really want to layer. But uh, what I like about these and some like the mandalas, you can just think, right, I'm going to use glitter gel pens on this. So I'll probably try and finish off the um, Crayola one tomorrow when I get in. If Jennifer has a sleep and I've got a chance, I might do a bit of wrapping. At the promise, I've got no, got no labels for anything. I need to get the labels. They're in they're in the box in the attic, I would imagine, I think. Yeah, we'll have to see. I was trying to find my C D. My Christmas CD. I've only got one, to be honest. It's um, an oldie CD, and I cannot find it. Um, I know where it should be, but I'm not sure what it's called. So it's, that's why I'm having trouble finding it. We've got so, so many CDs, and we've had to move them because they were on racks by the door. Because we haven't done this side of the room where the the CDs and the records are. We haven't had it decorated yet. We're saving up to do it because we have it done properly by a professional builder. He'll come in, he'll damp proof the whole room and replaster the whole room and do the decorating and put shelves in the alcove so that we're not wasting the space. I think alcoves are the biggest waste of space you ever see. He did it with our other side for books and DVDs and he's going to do it this side for CDs. And then we'll get some Ikea para uh, Calyx shelves for the records. But we just haven't got the money to do it because it's, it's quite expensive. And um, so they were all just 
like in alphabetical order on the, on the shelves. But Jennifer started pulling them off and just throwing them around, so we had to stack them out of the way, and now you can't find anything. Or, although I did find a Madonna Ray of Light, the CD is over by the CD player, but the, the box is on the shelf, so that's a bit odd. So. I don't, think, I don't know if you can see the glisten on it. It is, it is, it is very shiny. It's very glittery when I look at it, but I don't know if you can actually see it. So, so yeah. In the next video, we'll be starting to colour it, a colourful Christmas. But I haven't decided what picture yet, so I'll have a look later. Oh, I have started one in the colour in Heaven book. I started that with my Touch Five markers. Um, but I haven't again done much. I've got lots of whips, and I'm just not getting anywhere with any of them. And I need to crack on. So, I will. Now, eBay has picked up a little bit. It's not brilliant. Um, I had three sales over the weekend. I've had two today, although I'm paying payment on one. Um, I have picked it, though, so it's ready to be packed. I won't pack it, so I'll only pack the one that's going off tomorrow. Because um, I won't be posting on Thursday this week. I will be posting tomorrow because Jennifer's at Nana's so I can just nip to the post office very quickly and then come back. And the reason I'm not posting on um, uh, Thursday is because it's the general election and where I park is by one of the polling stations. So I'm expecting, I'm hoping the car park will be full so that everybody's out voting. Um, as I said, it's not my business who you vote for, but don't waste it. Go out and vote. It's not my business. That's between you and your ballot paper. And uh, that's fine. You know, you vote how you believe. And it's as simple as that. Just, you know, don't vote for a person because you don't like that person. It's not a popularity contest. You're voting for policies, not people. This is actually a really bright pink. It looks really red on the camera, but it's not. It's actually like a fuchsia colour lovely and these pens I don't know what they're called they got no branding on them but they were from Lidl's and oh my god if they ever had them in again I'd buy I'd buy four or five packets because I really love these glitter pens that from there but yeah we'll have to see so yeah, I'll be posting tomorrow and then I'll be posting Friday, possibly Saturday, depending. But at least I've got those three off. I haven't added the postage to my business account yet. I'll do that tomorrow. My accounts. I tend to do my accounts as I go. I don't leave them and do them last minute. I tend to do them, if not daily, then twice a week. So... For instance, I bought three items today for £1.50, they were 50p each. So I'll add that to my spreadsheet and I'll add that to my, um, what's it called? Uh, you know what I mean. Oops. <laughs> my uh, accounting programme. Um, and that way it's done then. And then literally when it comes to tax time, all I have to do is fill out the tax return with the profit and loss figures and the expenses and profit and turnover. So it makes life easier. If you do it as you go, it makes it a lot easier, I think. I was going to do this gold. Oh, no, that's the, the that's fine. The, the top can be silver. The pattern will be gold. I always found that these were... No, actually, I will do it silver. I'll do it pink and silver, and then I'll do a dark blue... Um, and gold. Now I haven't got my decorations up yet. I'm not going to lie. They're still in the attic. They will hopefully be coming down this weekend because we're not out this weekend. We might go to town. If it's not raining, I might say, come on, Paul, let's take the car into to Newport. I'll have a drive round and see how it's going. You know, take the car for a drive. Have a wander around the shops, have some lunch out, see how we feel. Because his party's on Thursday, his Christmas party. They're going to escape rooms, apparently. 
it's not something I fancy but and it's not something he really is into but he's going because it's being paid for, for the by the company and uh, he will just go and do it so bless him okay where's he I'll do the top with that so yeah he's uh, not really looking forward to that part of it but then they're going for a meal afterwards and then he'll be home let's hope he's not out too late eh because yes I don't like it when he's out late because it's hard for me to look after Jennifer all afternoon and all evening on my own but then he did it for me when I went out so to be fair she's good as gold she climbs the stairs on her own now our stairs here are quite steep so she goes up mostly on her knees so she'll get up on her knees and she'll stand up so it's slow going but I hold her hand all the way or I stand right behind her so she can't fall all she'd fall into would be my legs or my hands so I make sure she's perfectly safe and I will not let that baby fall yeah, she seems to want to do it on her own now so she's growing up now they're having a Christmas jumper day at Nursery on Friday and I haven't got her a Christmas jumper because I didn't know about it till today so I said to my mum can you get me one when you go to Morrison's on Thursday so she'll have a look and she'll get one and I said get her a two to three because then she can wear it again next year and she can wear it you know around the house and stuff which she can wear around the house next week as well to be honest she said mum said she'll have a look I said if you don't if you can't get one I'll nip over to Tesco I'll drop her at yours and nip over before I walk up to the polling station it's quite funny Christmas jumper days for charity so it doesn't really matter and then this week it's our Christmas concert at our company every year we have Christmas carols in the foyer normally I sing in the choir but obviously I finish at quarter to one it's at one o'clock I was thinking I might get Jennifer. If it's raining, I won't. I'll just go home. But if it's quite nice, I might go and get her and bring her over. But obviously, I have to go and vote as well on Thursday. So it's on the Friday. It's not too bad. So And then we have kids from the nursery. Um, the uh, bigger kids from the older children come, to, come into our office on Friday and sing carols which is not it's always cute anyway and if she ever is there and does it I don't know whether she'll still be there then it depends she can then I'll I'll insist I have to go and watch it because I will she might do because she'll be there next Christmas so if she's there next Christmas she might be in it I don't know which age it is she loves the music though oh and Teletubbies oh she loves Teletubbies she loves the baby in the, the sun. Every time that baby giggles, she just lets out a real belly laugh. It's so adorable. And it's just, oh, love her art, you know? When they do something like that, it's so cute. We've nearly finished. We've only got two more bits to do, and then we'll call it a night. That's that bit. We're going to go blue now. Mind you, we've been doing this for 24 minutes. Now I'm going to use this dark blue here. Can you see it? Should I use this blue or should I use purple? Do you know what? I hardly ever use purple. There's a purple. They're both purple, aren't they? Those two. I don't know whether to use the purple or not. Let's have a look. What's it look like? Ooh, it's nice. Purple and gold. I think we'll do purple. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using a lot more gel pens over the coming weeks. Because I'm going to do Christmas even after Christmas. That reminds me, I've got a whip from last Christmas on the go from Hannah Lynn's Whimsy Girls Christmas. I think that was done with polychromo, so I'll, uh, as I've been using them, I'll have to get that book out and do a bit more. I've got to hit these whips. I, I watch these videos and people say they've got 40 or 50 whips, and I'm like, what? I hate having four or five 
And at the moment, not including this one, I've got one, two, three, four Christmas whips, one, oh, and, and several others. And that to me is, it's, I just find it very, it makes me anxious having too many whips, so I don't really like to have them. I find having a lot of unfinished things, not unfinished books, I don't mind that, but unfinished pictures, if I've started a picture I want to finish it, I find it very, it, it really makes me anxious. So I'm going to try and uh, try and start completing some of them. I might start with that Crayola one and finish that off, although I don't know what I'm going to do with the background yet. I might get... Um, some acrylic paint and just paint and a background in like um, a dark green with uh, look like leaves and some I don't know or a dark blue I, I haven't decided yet I, I think I'm gonna go for a dark green to make it look like it's an out of focus tree you have to see I, I might do that so I've, I've got some acrylic paints I've got some uh, metallic acrylics as well which I haven't used yet so I might have a go at doing some of that try and get I'm um, only the strands I've got to do now and the snowflakes I don't have to worry about the rest I gotta be honest even though I've finished some there are some finishing touches that I'm waiting and I'm don't know when the um, pens are gonna come because I've ordered a, a white wing Castella and I wanted it for something and it just to finish something off and I didn't want to use the clear one because it looks more silver than white and there's also a red and a gold one in there. There's the Christmas colours they call it. Although, to me, if it's Christmas, you'd have green in it. But I always say it's red, gold and green. They were nice. <laughs> oh, never mind. Ooh, this is fiddly, this bit. But, hey. Yeah, that looks all right. Not much to go now. The only thing I've got to do now is to finish her tights and I'm just going to brush over it with green castella so it'll stay white and pink I've got to be honest I actually really love the green castella brushes I'd wish I'd bought them before and I'm going to start collecting all the different colours so I'm just going to literally brush very gently just over the whole thing so that it's Glittery white, glittery pink. And I will be ordering another clear one at some point when this one runs out. And I am using this a fair bit, so I don't know how long it's going to last. But, um, there we go. And I think I might just put a bit of glitter on her lips. And I was going to put some on her wings. So let's get some on her wings. Let's get them up here, I think. I'm just going to put a little bit on here. On these little circles. On here. And here, see what I mean about using loads on here, and then down here. It's still coming out, isn't it? Yeah, they still glitter there. Let's have a look. <coughs> I still have a cough. I don't know how long it's going to last, but I do still have one, and it's doing my head in. Go, we're nearly done now, and I am so tired. I will be going to bed fairly shortly because I do tend to start to wait until Paul and Jennifer have gone to bed before I start coloring and make well making these color videos just simply because. So, yeah, I stopped doing it, I don't know why. 
So yeah, I do this at night when Paul and Jennifer are in bed because it's really not fair of them, of me, rather, not them, to take over the living room and chat all evening while they have to sit there and listen to me waffle on. So there we go, let's zoom out. There is our bauble fairy. So your bubbles are nice and glittery. I, can we see the... I don't know if you can see the winker. A bit, maybe. Can I see the... Yeah, I can see the winker. Oh, yeah, it's very glittery on the winker. So on her wings and everything. So there she is. Finished. I uh, really do hope you've enjoyed this uh, colour and chat with... Um, I'm just putting the pens away, by the way. Uh, the Selena Finex book. Um, I have put up the... Uh, I can't think what it's called. The flip through for that person that requested thank you very much if you want to see anything else similar let me know um if you've enjoyed this video please let me know by leaving a comment down below and don't forget to share it with your friends give it a thumbs up because that really helps um with visibility and if you're not already a sub subscriber please subscribe and if you haven't hit the notification bell please hit the notification bell so i'll tell you whenever i load uh, upload a new video which I am doing a lot more of lately and I'm really pleased because I've really missed doing videos and I really enjoy doing the colouring so that's it from me for today I'll see you all soon bye now